السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Good evening and peace and blessings to everyone This is Sheikh Muhammad Ali Elahi Imam of Islamic House of Wisdom and today is Tuesday March 17 and 10 p.m. and I'm talking with you from our family prayer room in Michigan, United States. Let us start with this beautiful chapter, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alam nashrah laka sadrak wa wadha'na anka wizrak alladhi anqada dhahrak ورفعنا لك ذكرك فإن مع العسر يسرا إن مع العسر يسرا فإذا فرغت فانسب وإلى ربك فرغب The point of this chapter is with hardship comes healing If there is no pain, there is no gain. This chapter is telling us to rise to our responsibility as human beings and people of faith. Ya ibad ya ladina asrafu ala anfusihim لا تقنتوا من رحمة الله God is telling us that I know that you hurt your souls you lost but don't lose your hope on God's compassion God's forgiveness and love وهو الذي يقبل التوبة عن عباده وهو يعفو عن السيئات ويعلم ما تفعلون He is always ready to accept your repentance anytime that you are ready to return he is ready to receive you and welcome you. وَلَا تَيْأَسُوا عَنْ مِنْ رَوْحِ اللَّهِ وَلَا تَيْأَسُوا مِنْ رَوْحِ اللَّهِ إِنَّهُ لَا يَيَأَسُوا عَنْ رُوحِ اللَّهِ إِلَّا الْقَوْمُ الْكَافِرُونَ Only disbelievers those who have no faith in God may have no hope everyone else should keep your hope your faith your trust on your Lord and stay patient and strong it is said that these days and nights we cannot have huge gathering and congregation. For us as Muslims, the month of Ramadan is coming. For Christians, the Easter is coming. For Jews, the Passover. All these Abrahamic faith traditions, some occasion and some important event to remember is coming soon. And it is very unfortunate that now we in the United States and many, many people around the world cannot get together and celebrate these faith occasions and faith traditions. It's been for a while that this coronavirus crisis has occupied 
all the international media and social media. In the beginning, we used to hear the word coronavirus. Then the term epidemic. And then pandem, pandemic. And then COVID-19. Every day things changes and develops and telling us that the international community, the people all over the world are facing this deadly disease, coronavirus. But sadly, the, the stress, the phobia, the fear of this disease is bigger than the disease itself. I just received uh, some information, somebody sent me this link that if you go and consider the, the crisis in the last two months, as a matter of fact, last January and February of 2020, uh, we have, of course, probably over 5,000 or some 6,000 maybe people who died because of coronavirus. But at the same time, the people who died by malaria, over 140,000. Suicide, and it is international, of course, not on the United States. Over 150,000 people died of suicide. Road accidents, almost 200,000. HIV, over 240,000. Alcohol, over 350,000. Smoking, over 700,000 people died of smoking. As a matter of fact, coronavirus is a good opportunity for those who smoke to quit now right away stop smoking and people who died out of cancer over 1 million so the victims of coronavirus compared to the victims of general cold and accidents and other diseases is much less but why it is so scary why Coronavirus acts like uh, terrorism, that everybody is terrorized. One of the main reasons is that this is uh, contagious. The fact that this disease, this uh, coronavirus is contagious and is spread so fast and Nobody knows the movement of this virus. People who may not even feel that they have it, they are taking it to other people. For that reason that it is unseen and you never know, that has made this disease very frightening and everybody is scared. And to hear that there is no vaccine for it, there is no a cure uh, for that disease yet, that makes it more problematic. But of course, uh, in the last two months, we heard a lot about the, the ways that we can prevent this disease, prevent the advancement of this virus, and the ways that we can protect our uh, health and our bodies uh, from, from this disease. And the Dapatumin al Iman, everybody is talking about uh, keep your hands and your body clean, Ghasl al Yadain, Al Ibtaad and Al Zaham to a kind of social distance, to uh, have no close contact with, uh, with other people, 
uh, no shaking, no hugging, no, no kissing. And this physical separation and especially no smoking. These are the general uh, advices that we hear from medical society, from experts, from scientists. And uh, Islamically, it's very, very important to, to consider that because uh, This is uh, totally haram and forbidden that we put ourselves or other people in, in risk and in, in danger. It is hard to stay at home, but this is an opportunity at the same time that you have more uh, freedom, uh, freedom of time uh, for some of us who are able to continue their work from home. Uh, that is a blessing, that is a, a break. Uh, but for some other people that still uh, you may have extra time to read a book, to watch some a good and halal movie, educational movie. Uh, spring is coming to clean the house, to clean the backyard, to uh, put things in order in your house. Uh, you may never, uh, might never had chance in the past to, to cook and always, you know, junky food or just going to different places and restaurants. Now this is time for uh, more cooking uh, probably and have a recipe that you like that uh, you cook for that and but the most important thing is that we spend some of our time on reflection that really reflect on how uh, human beings we are so weak and vulnerable ya nas antumul fuqara nas means all people of this planet Remember that we are poor, so poor that we can be paralyzed with one unseen virus. The, the entire globe is getting it and is paralyzed with one virus just to reflection on this weakness that we have. It is very important. So. Uh, that might be a, a blessing opportunity to wake up from this namul ghafla, the, the nap of negligence, and bring some remembrance, some meditation, some, some dua, some prayer. Uh, there are so many verses in the Quran that uh, uh, tell us Remember your Lord. This is really an opportunity to remember our, our Creator and reflect on His, uh, on His glory and do uh, spend more time uh, ourselves with, uh, with the entire family uh, inside the house uh, to, to reflect, to, to remember, to worship and to practice more prayer. And especially those Asma'ul Husna, uh, remembering the beautiful names of uh, Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Taala. Allahumma anta al-Sami'a wa anta al-Basir, O God, you hear us and you see us. Anta al-Salam wa anta al-Sabur, you are the source of peace and patience. Anta shaheed wa anta shakur. You are observing us and observing this universe. And you are the source of gratitude. Anta al-adl wa anta al-alim. O God of justice and God of wisdom and knowledge. Anta al-ghaffar wa anta al-rahim. You are forgiving. You are compassionate. Anta al qawiyyu wa anta al quddus. You are powerful and you are pure. Anta al kabir wa anta al kareem or God. You are great and you are glorious and you are generous. Anta al majid 
وأنت المجيب You are majesty and at the same time despite of your greatness, glory and majesty still you are there to answer our call أنت النور وأنت الهدى You are the light of the heavens and the earth and you are the source of guidance, O God. أنت الودود وأنت الوهاب وأنت الولي You are our friend. You are giving and you are loving. That is our Lord. So this is an opportunity, brothers and sisters, to to spend some time to reflect, to remember the glory of God and weakness of us as human beings. I know there is so much confusion, so much contradiction. More information we receive, more confused we get. Whether it is from medical society, or political leaders, social leaders, everybody is talking about coronavirus, but there is no consensus, there is no ijma, not even in medical world or political world, that what is or where is the source of this virus, how this happened. Some scientists, they are talking about the, the nature that the corona, like many other diseases, is normal, natural source. And some, they are talking about uh, not normal, not natural, but as a biology, as a man-made evil disease. So there are so many questions, especially the countries that they are suffering the most and they are hit the hardest. The question, why Italy? Why Iran? Over 30,000 people in Italy are infected so far and 2,500 they died. In Iran, over 16,000 infected and over 1,000 people dead. In United States, we see this, this confusion. I mean, we all remember 9-11, but nothing to compare. Although just few people died so far in United States, but in 9-11, over 3,000 people were killed. But still, the, the fear, the crisis, the craziness, the collapse of stock markets, the collapse of other industries from airline in industries, the, the restaurants, the markets, jobs all over. It is unbelievable that how chaotic this country and the world and the fear of the people you already see some of the shopping centers, their shelves are, are empty. Though still nothing happened, but a lot of people are scared and they look at it like a huge tsunami is, is coming. So there are so many questions and confusion about all of these things. And we need our, especially the, the political leaders, to address us to tell us what is going on. Unfortunately, we don't hear this uh, truthfulness and honesty in the tone and language of many of our uh, political leaders either. Uh, we just heard President Trump was talking about uh, chlorovirus and calling it a Chinese virus. And I agree with uh, Reverend Chu that uh, he be criticized the president saying that uh, this statement to call chlorovirus as a, a Chinese uh, 
uh, virus. This is um, a racist expression. This is an expression of, of hatred. So we listen to the White House. They call this virus a Chinese virus. Then we listen to the Chinese government and Chinese foreign minister. Uh, they blame United States Army for taking, based on their claim, this virus to China. Then the, the press in, in Russia, the, the media in Iran that they are talking about a biological uh, weapon uh, and they look at this not only as a virus but a political and military weapon. Uh, then we listen to General uh, uh, McNeese, the, the US uh, Central Commander, uh, just in the Senate, and then he had a, a press conference uh, saying that this virus has uh, impact on, uh, on Iran, and they, it put the Iranian leadership under so much pressure, so they are not able to make strategic decisions. So, like, uh, he is saying this, like, with, with happiness, that, like, it's been working in Iran and making Iran, uh, Iran weak. Then we go to the, uh, the lecture of uh, Bill Gates, if you remember almost 10 years ago after the Ebola uh, tragedy in Africa that uh, Bill Gates has a TED radio. And in that talk, uh, he, he was talking about a global threat uh, ten years ago, he warned us, he warned the governments, uh, the political uh, leaders of the world, that the next war uh, will not be with weapon, but a virus. It's not going to be uh, missiles, but microbes. And not, uh, uh, it's not going to be uh, bombs, but bacteria. So he, he warned us 10 years ago, and even in 2018, on uh, 100 years of uh, anniversary of 100 years from uh, uh, that uh, uh, Spain uh, tragedy that uh, killed over 50 million people almost 100 years ago, 102 years ago, uh, Bill Gates, he uh, wrote an article and he uh, said that uh, we are not prepared uh, for this uh, pandemic that it is coming. And his wife, Mrs. Uh, Gates, she said that this pandemic is, is a dangerous. It may uh, cause the United States losing three trillion dollars. And she said that whether this virus, coronavirus, be natural or made by man, either way, people have to pay the price, unfortunately. Everybody is paying the price, but those countries that I mentioned, especially South Korea, but in uh, particularly Italy and, and Iran now, they are paying the uh, the biggest, biggest price. And it's so sad to see the, the massacre of innocent people. They have to pay the price of some of our uh, uh, political leaders. They pay the price of their arrogance, their ignorance, their insanity, their dishonesty. And this is very, very unfortunate. Uh, here I would like to take this opportunity to send a message to President Trump. Uh, obviously, he's not watching me. Uh, he's not watching uh, even other media. Most probably, uh, the main channel that he's interested in is Fox News and uh, Sean Hannity that he loves a lot. Uh, that is his main uh, media. But, but I say it for record that God is listening and many of you are listening and uh, somehow the message is there that uh, Mr. President, uh, please attack 
uh, stop attacking the in integrity of this nation. Uh, there are beautiful people in this country. Uh, this country still is blessed and uh, with so many dignified people, so many values, so many um, uh, things that we are proud of. But unfortunately, uh, all of the values and uh, integrity and intellect of this nation, they are under fire. Uh, one of the things that uh, I like to ask you that uh, forget about politics for a moment and uh, for the sake of integrity of our nation, uh, drop this sanction on Iranian people. I don't care about your differences and problems between you and their government, between you and political leaders in Iran. At this time, people are paying the price. And that is a shame. That is absolutely disgraceful. Uh, they are not asking you to send them check. You promise us, uh, American people, uh, to to start sending some checks for some people, at least you promise, uh, and take care of some of these economic sufferings. They are not asking you to send money. They are not asking you to send medicine or, or food. All they ask just to stop this immoral, uh, unfair, and irresponsible sanction that doesn't let them to use their own money to get the supplies that they need at this time. I want to tell you one thing, uh, President, that if you really think that this uh, so-called maximum pressure can uh, cause uh, any dignified nation to, to submit, uh, you are wrong, you are mistaken. Uh, maximum pressure did not work for Venezuela. It won't work for Iran either. Remember that uh, the, the, those people, they were fighting Saddam Hussein for seven, eight years. Uh, there were days that they were under chemical bombardment of Saddam Hussein. Thousands of people used to die in one day of biological weapons, and they did not submit. Learn something from President Obama that through diplomacy, through dialogue, and respectful relationship, after over 30 years of no dialogue between two countries, he convinced them to uh, actually make a deal and stop uh, enrichment and uh, any plan that they had uh, the, the atomic uh, project uh, and uh, the day stop. So that would be a, a way to learn how diplomacy would work and not uh, threatening, not maximum pressure, not, not sanction. Uh, we had one of our own uh, founding father, uh, Patrick Henry, who said, give me my liberty or give me my, my death. This value that uh, dignity matters, freedom matters, respect matters, responsibility matters, and you have to use the right language and please uh, just uh, put an end to this irresponsible and illegal and immoral uh, sanction that is uh, killing people whatever the problems you had or they have with you at the level of the government, that is not my issue. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about innocent people that they are paying the price for this so-called uh, maximum, uh, maximum pressure, especially that you claim to be a Christian and showing love to Jesus. Just Return to your soul, to your heart, that the Prince of Peace, the man who said, love your neighbors, the man of love, the man who said, peacemakers are the blessed. If 
that is your role model. So we see a big gap and a big hypocrisy and double standard. You cannot claim to be follower of Jesus, Prince of Peace and Love and Friendship and Reconciliation and Compassion and Unity, but at the same time use the language of threatening and fire and fury and all of this intimidation for innocent people, the people who respect our nation, who show their solidarity after what happened in 9-11, who fought ISIS and terrorism and sacrificed their blood. This sanction is uh, a, actually a murdering machine for those people who are under this coronavirus for the sake of American image, American integrity, American interest. Uh, save your uh, image and presidency by doing the right thing and to write what you did and it was wrong and uh, to take care of the nation that they are innocent and they don't deserve this. We pray for all suffering people in Michigan, in every state in the United States, those who suffer from coronavirus, uh, in Italy, in Iran, in South Korea, in France, in United Kingdom, in, in Africa, in Asia, in Europe, in every continent and every country and every community. We pray for all. Uh, at the end, we are all children of Adam and Eve, and this is an opportunity for, for all of us to wake up, to be more humble, to be more grateful, to uh, remember our Lord, to reflect, and to make more, more harmony, and God is there to forgive us. Allahumma ajjil li waliyyika al-faraj wa al-nasra wa al-afiyya Allahumma akshif hadhi al-ghumma an hadhi al-ghumma Allahumma akfina sharr hadhi al-waba wa hfidna wa hfidna bi hfidhika ya dha al-jalal wa al-ikram Allahumma إني قد حسنت نفسي وأهلي وذريتي وإخواني وأخواتي وأرحامي وجيراني وأصحابي وأوتاني والمؤمنين جميعا فوق كل أرض وتحت كل سماء بعزتك وقوتك وقدرتك ولطفك وباسمك العظيم ووجهك الكريم من كل مرض وآفة وكل بلاء اللهم اجعلنا في حرزك وحفظك وذمانك وعفوك وعافيتك وعونك ولطفك وفضلك اللهم إليك أشكو ضعف قوتي وقلة حيلتي أنت رب المستضعفين وأنت ربي وأنت أرحم الراحمين اللهم إن لم يكن لك علي غذب فلا أبالي أعوذ بنور وجهك الذي أشرقت له الظلمات وسنح به أمر الدنيا والآخرة أن ينزل بي غذبك أو يحل علي سختك لك الحمد ولك العتبى حتى ترضى oh God please answer our prayers
and be pleased with us. Brothers and sisters, thank you very much. May Allah bless you and have a restful night and keep the suffering people in your prayer. Inshallah, this Friday at 1.30, I would update you. And though we cannot have a gathering as a congregational prayer, but inshallah at 1.30 at the time of Friday prayer, I will send you my khutbah online. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.